all of the leaders of the Australian wind industry right here, sold out event. They're networking, they're confronting the challenges, they're working together, they're getting to know each other. If you're a leader in the Australian wind industry, you absolutely have to be here. Highlights are uh, everyone uh, who is like-minded in this industry coming together with one shared vision of uh, transitioning Australia to net zero. The reason I came to AWIS is to learn more about the environment and the planning sector with renewable energy and, and wind farms moving forward. I'm really enjoying being at AWIS this year because there are a lot of technical sessions and you learn a lot here. Um, really high quality sessions and I look forward to next year's. Getting the wind industry together, both developers and uh, commercial as well as technical, it's actually beneficial that people start to understand some of the complexities that lie in the projects, whether we have to appreciate it from the environmental development point of view or whether it's from the commercial and the, and the network point of view. It's a good opportunity to meet people, old colleagues who you haven't seen for a while, um, and yeah, hear people perhaps from a bit more of a technical perspective talking about some of the issues facing our projects at the moment. It's actually my first time attending this summit. I'm glad to have been able to, to share in this conference with um, the CEC and hopefully they'll continue and it'll build to um, yeah, even better things next year. AWIS is actually providing on the ground advice. It's sage, sensible, it's full of practitioners who are actually giving real life examples of what's happening here and now. It's the best wind summit to go to and I'm delighted to be here.